Tubers, J Buzzsaw 79 with a deck profile. Um, the deck I'm going to bring you today is a deck that, quite frankly, at one point I hated playing against more than almost any other deck I can remember. It was one of the biggest thorns on my side, and uh, I, I referenced it at least two times, I'd say, by now, and the uh, my anti anti meta uh, videos. I referenced it in my uh, uh, budget building several times actually, <coughs> and that is going to be the uh, six samurai. Um, I again happened to only the only reason I made the deck was because I bought a six samurai to get. I don't remember which one it was, Phoenix Chain or D Prison. I can't remember which one, but originally that's what I bought. Uh, three Six Samurai decks, and then I was like, well, I've already got the deck, so I might as well build it. And then uh, I kind of built a very budget version of it, <coughs> and then I eventually picked up uh, Citizens. And uh, she had later on actually uh, for like, gosh, it was dirt cheap. Like, this is like a few cents a piece, I think. And then she had was maybe five bucks, like, it's like six bucks to essentially build the deck. So, um, so yeah, let's kind of step right into it here. Um, Throw it out here. Uh, first card up. Uh, Kazan. Kazin. Kazan. Uh, he is a very good card. Um, you can special summon him out if you uh, <coughs> control a different six samurai monster. Um, well, I control two, he gets 300 attacks, so it becomes a 21, so it just becomes a beater. So essentially, a weird way is a. At that point, it becomes like a cyber dragon, I guess, is the best way to describe him. Um, very, very, very good card. Uh, moving on. The only tuner you want to run, really, is the uh, Kagamisha on the 6. His uh, effect I've never actually had on the board or worried about because nine times out of ten I'm getting out she end so it really never has been something that I've looked forward to even using. Not saying I wouldn't but you know it just happens to be how it is so uh, so that's the three ofs of Kageki. That's my first two of I used to run Kageki at three on um, the points was pretty cloggy because he'd be in my hand and it's like, okay, well, I don't want to normal summon him because you know, he uh, he won't be that strong or won't get his effect and then you special summon another one so I'd set him half the time and it's like, oh, there's got to be better cards uh, than that, so yeah uh, next up Inchi I see a lot of people only run one and uh, everybody tells us, you know, on videos and such, oh, he's such a beautiful card, he's so awesome, he's so strong. And they go on about how great he is because he's a compulsive on legs, he's in banish and everything. And then, and then, you know, he also, uh, uh, if you control those six samurai, except for a copy of himself, he gets 500, so becomes a 2200 meter with, with compulsive abilities. And I'm just like, okay, well, why, why, why only one then? I mean, I just don't understand. So, it's kind of my theory for most of this deck was like, why, why, why only one? So, um, <coughs> I'm running one hand of the six, and, and I can't remember the name of it. I barely couldn't find it. And I looked for a freaking a half hour before I even made this video. Was uh, this blank sleeve here? 
It looks like shit, but it's not. <laughs> but four artwork would be awesome. Um, I forget the name of it. It's legendary Mazika, Mazuka, Mazagi. Um, it says that once per turn you can give up a six samurai and destroy any one card on the field. It's also a 1600, just like uh, six samurai, hand of the six samurai. Uh, the only difference is hand of the six samurai, basically, you can send frickin' three six samurai and destroy three monsters. The other one I'm thinking of, uh, again, legendary M, uh, essentially, like I said, it's the same thing, but you're gonna do it once. But it targets any card on the field, so I think you should run one of each. Again, most people say, well, hand's better, but yeah, it just depends on the circumstances. If somebody else has, let's say, threw a skill drain out on something, and they're negating an effect of, you know, under six samurai, you could drop her and blow up, you know, a, a Phoenix chain or something, or a really, you know, spell and sharp kind of give you some grief and go about your business or a monster or whatever. Whereas hand, you know, you can only use a monster, so I. I like the versatility, and I think you should run each. Because uh, you just never know. Uh, I did run at one point two Elder, but I think with all the other level 3s that are in here, you can actually get away with one. Because uh, you can asceticism for a lot of this stuff, so that's something else to think about. Uh, one Grandmaster. Uh... And one Zanji. Again, Zanji's under for cynicism, so it was Grandmaster. Uh, if I changed anything, it would be considering to run a second uh, Zanji instead of the Inshi. Uh, just because Zanji's effect, you know, you can go ahead, drop Zanji, plow into something, and, uh, you know, you'll blow it up. So that's, again, that, that could be very useful. Um, I just thought I'd run one. I've seen some people say he's horrible and not to run any, so. But I think one is pretty good yet. Um, so yeah, we'll go on from there. Uh, one, one Spirit of the Six Samurai is my last card. Um, he's... If you use him right and use him with like double-edged sword technique, uh, there's just basically no reason not to at this point. I, I can't possibly think of any reason why you would not want to uh, run that as a as a card. So that does it for the monsters. Um, I'm gonna throw out Book of the Moon because I still love Book of the Moon, and as you've seen before, I play almost every deck now, I think. Um, double MST, because freaking MST. I could run a third, but again, I chose not to. I think two is sufficient for right now. That's all I can really say about that. Uh, double asceticism. With the availability of smoke signal and the rota, there's so much searching, you don't really need any extra uh, things in the deck as far as um, the extra cynicisms. Two is fine. Two has really helped me. Um, well, half the time that I actually draw it, I play it because, you know, either I got already Sheehan out or um, you know, I, I've already drawn a monster so I can't really play a system. Like, you know, if I'm sitting there and I have Kagimusha and Elder, well, it doesn't really pay the cynicism at that point, I mean, yeah, things like that. So, I mean, it just, it's all really the thing that just kind of got to play it almost in a weird way. <laughs> it's played by ear. Uh, again, three smoke signal, because smoke signal is really good. Um, I always get them searches in right away. Uh, as well as the Rota. It's kind of self exclamatory. Uh, Six Samurai United. Um, I don't know if you need another draw card to be honest in the deck. I'm kind of thinking about it. Uh, again, it just depends. I mean, really, your goal is to get Shi'an out. 
beyond that, there's really not much of a you know thing to the deck. The whole thing is get Sheehan out and uh, trying to start you know, locking the field down and pressing. Um, I had one person uh, at one point remark to me that um, they they wouldn't play like for example they wouldn't run upstart goblins in this deck because what's the point of running uh, an aggro deck like this you know like a one turn kill deck that runs upstart goblin and to them I said what <laughs> I mean yeah they get a thousand but if you know, depending on how it works out, if I can deal you, you know, get on that monster that deals you over a thousand plus, then you can gain anything, but I have an edge because of monster presence on the deal, that kind of thing, so. Uh, so yeah, but uh, moving on here, the last two, and again, I apologize as I usually do, but proxy is in here. Uh, these would be Lance. Um, just because, again, that's just my opinion. Uh, like, you know, there are people that, if they're smart players, they will play knowing that they have to kill Xi'an. So they will be like, oh, okay, well, uh, some of the spots are not torrential. Okay, well, I, you know, Xi'an's effect, though. No. Okay, and I'll play Dark Hole. Or, you know, something similar to that where they are, you know, comboing cards to the point that they know they have to deal Xi'an. And generally, Knowing that I will negate the first one, peg with the second one, so I have to play according uh, accordingly then on that. So um, let's move on here. Last few cards. Let's go to traps. Uh, Double-edged sword technique. I run three, or will run three once I find my third. Because apparently I lost that too. Double-edged sword technique is just crazy in this deck. Um, the fact that I can sit there and do she had if you destroy them, I can activate that to get them back out. Um, or if I do Kagamushu into Elder and get out she had the wood sword tech to get them both out and sync off of that. Or you know what whatever. It just such a good card easily push for OTKs. I mean, it is just super mandatory, I think. Um, too good not to run at three. Uh, running the double chains in this deck. And two of the Mushuke Mag Magatama. Magatama? Magatama? Well, that's a big gust of wind. Where's the Magatama? Um, so, yeah. Uh, and basically that protects six samurai. Uh, it's the solemn judgment essentially that protects six samurai. It's all you really need to worry about there. Uh, the last three traps are all one of them. It's a solemn warning, compulse, and bottomless. Uh, the last three. There's no torrential and there's no dark hole in here. I've been playtesting it that way. It's done actually better than I anticipated. Um, reason why is because I was watching, I remember watching a video at one point and watching another person give their deck profile on their six samurai and they mentioned the point of, you know, why, why run those cards because it removes your field presence. And with six samurai you need field presence. So, you know, why would you want to remove it? And if you lose field presence, you know, like, if, if I said I lost Field Press and I played Dark Hole, then generally I've already lost the game. I kind of am testing that idea. I mean, it does make sense. That's, what kind of, that's why I'm doing it. Just to kind of put it out there to everybody. Uh, but yeah, that's Deck Profile on Six Samurai. Uh, thumbs up if you liked. Thumbs down if you don't. Throw some comments in there. Uh, subscribe if you like, but at the very least, please, share the videos. I, you know, just like to get it out there that uh, you know, being a budget player or an anti-meta player again is not a bad thing. Uh, so if people don't want to subscribe, that's yeah, fine. Just you know, watch them and get them out there. That uh, that to me is almost better than subscribing. So uh, anyway, that's the deck profile, and this is J Buzzsaw signing out. Thank you.